Hello, my name is Pierre Harry, and I'm a product specialist with Wendor California, soon to be rebranded as Aviva Select California. In this video, I will explain how to configure the Modicon communication server to allow your Aviva system platform SCADA system to communicate with a Schneider PLC. For those of you unfamiliar with who we are, Wendor California has been a leading SCADA solution vendor since 1992. We provide continuing education on our products in the form of training, workshops, and a growing YouTube channel containing technical instructional videos like the one you're watching right now. We are also a technical resource if you have any questions about the products. We have a pre-sales product specialist team like myself, as well as a knowledgeable technical support staff. So please don't hesitate to reach out to us if you have any additional questions about any of the products that you will see today. The first step in this process involves downloading the Modicon communication server from Schneider Electric's Exchange website. Simply access shop.exchange.sc.com and search for the Modicon communication server in the search bar. Please note that this process will require registering an account with the website. Once you have downloaded the installation zip file, place it on your system platform machine. Then run the setup executable file and follow the steps in the installation wizard to install it. In my case, I will just do a repair since I already have the Modicon communication server installed. So let's just give it a moment to boot up here. Click on next and I'm going to do repair. But if you're installing from scratch, you will select the first option, which isn't shown here for the installation. Then click next and install. And this may take a few minutes. Once the installation is complete, open up your SMC or system management console. Inside of the SMC, you should see the Modicon communication server in your system hierarchy tree, which is on the left side up here on the top left. Right click on it and then select start, which will allow you to configure the server. You can see that it started because there's a green checkbox on the bottom right of the icon. Expand controllers and select dev example one. Under device details, you will see your device name, dev example one, which you can rename if you want, as well as the device address one. This is crucial information because this is the IP address of your Schneider PLC. So go ahead and enter the IP address of your Schneider PLC and click save. Please note that you can manipulate the security and user authentication settings by clicking on the security tab, which is in the settings section right here. And make sure to select the two checkboxes on the top. Security policy allow none and anonymous user token allow. Once your settings are configured, right click on the Modicon communication server and select restart, which will validate the changes. The second part of this configuration process involves configuring the OI gateway. Inside the SMC, expand operations integration server manager, default group, local, Operations Integration Supervisory Servers, Standards-Gateway, and OI Gateway 3. You can see that OI Gateway 3 is activated for me because there's a green checkbox on the bottom right corner. If it's not activated for you, right-click on it and select Activate. Once it's activated, expand the Configuration and MCS Connection. MCS Connection stands for, you guessed it, Modicon communication server. So this is where you can configure the MCS connection parameters. On this screen, all we need to do is under user credentials, select the anonymous users checkbox, which for me, it's already checked right here. This will conform to the security settings that we configured earlier. Next, select text on the right side right here. There are no error messages. If there were error messages, you would see them pop up here. 
Because there are no error messages, you know that the configuration is complete. At this point, the communication channel has been established to system platform from the PLC, and you can deploy your Galaxy in the IDE to view your PLC data. Thanks for watching, and see you guys next time.